Hi, I want to show you how to take part in an online classroom using MLTV on your Fusion platform. Once you're logged into Fusion, it doesn't matter whether you have a screen that looks like this or whether you're using a dashboard. What you're looking for are your classes or learning spaces. It's the group that your teachers asked you to join. So if I go to my classes, I've been told to go to a classroom in 3AR. So I click on the menu of that class. Let me just show you again. The menu is the three dots to the right of the class. Click on there. And then under MLTV, click on Join Room. It will then ask me whether I want to join listening only or using my microphone. Usually you will want to have access to your microphone, although your teacher might ask you to join by listening only. I'm going to choose microphone. Now at this point, you will need to give Fusion permission to use the microphone on your device. And it depends what sort of device you've got, how this request for permission will look. So I'm on a computer here and I have this pop-up. If you're using a phone or a tablet, it might look different. But basically you've got to say yes or you've got to allow access to your microphone. So I'm going to click allow. I then have an echo test where I can hear myself. And if I can hear myself, I say yes. If I can't hear myself, I say no. I'm just going to say yes. If you can't hear yourself, you might need to go back and provide that permission for Fusion to use the microphone on your device. So now I'm in my lesson, there's a few things I need to understand. Down the left hand side here is a list of who's in the class. So I can see that my teacher's here and that I'm here. We have this section in the middle, which is the public chat, and I can hide that just by clicking here or open it again as I need to. And then I have this large space here, which is the teacher's presentation area. Now, depending on how your teacher set this up, you might need to click here to show the presentation. You will be able to hear your teacher speak. And because you've enabled your microphone, you will be able to speak too. However, it's useful to know that your teacher might choose to switch off your microphone. If your teacher does this, you'll see your microphone icon's got a line through it and it's gone red. That means that you cannot speak to the class during this time. If the teacher's turned off your microphone and you want to speak, you could go in here and click on unmute and just speak. But you wouldn't actually do that in a classroom situation. That would be the equivalent of shouting out in the middle of a class. What you can do is ask permission. If you click on your icon and set your status, you can set your status to having your hand raised. And your teacher will be able to see this icon and see that you want to speak. Your teacher will then be able to come in and activate your microphone and invite you to speak. It's important to remember that if you have lots of people attending one of these sessions and everybody speaks at once, it will be impossible for anyone to hear anything. If your microphone's active and there's a lot of noise at your end, maybe you're in a household with lots of other people, or maybe you just want to cough, you might want to temporarily turn off your microphone. If you want to do that, you should use the mute button. Don't click on the leave audio button because that will cut off your audio altogether. Just click mute and that will turn you off temporarily until the noise is gone and then you can switch yourself back on. Your teacher might invite you to use your webcam, but in this case the teacher has locked the webcam so I can't use it. And that's fine, the teacher might not want everybody to use webcams. If your teacher enables webcams, you can come in here and click here to share your webcam. Again, just like your microphone, you'll have to give permission for Fusion to access the webcam on your device. And you might need to do this more than once, up to three times. When your webcam appears, you can click Start Sharing. And again, asking permission, and you can see the video has now come up. Now, depending again on the settings, it might be that only the teacher can see your webcam or it might be that all the other students in the class can see it. OK, so I'm just going to turn off my webcam. Your teacher might ask you to contribute to the public chat. 
where you can write your responses and send the messages. Or they might ask you to do some shared notes. This is a page that everyone can contribute to at the same time. Your teacher might also enable some whiteboard tools and these will allow you and everyone else in your group to come in and draw on the screen and you can see that you're identified, your name is there. You can also delete your annotations, the most recent one and all of them. When the session ends, the teacher will end the meeting and you'll be removed. However, if you want to leave this session before the end, go to the three dot option menu at the top and simply click log out. So that's how to use MLTV on your Fusion platform.